Welcome back. These videos guide you as a client on what to do when you procure construction goods and services. Now in this video, we look at registering construction contracts on the CIDB Register of Projects. As a client, you are bound by the CIDB Act 38 of 2000 to register your construction contracts on the CIDB Register of Projects. So which contracts must you register on the Register of Projects? Well, this depends on two things. Number one, the category of client you belong to. And number two, the value of the construction contract we're talking about. If you're a public sector client, every construction contract awarded from 200,000 Rand and above must be registered on the Register of Projects. If you're a PFMA Schedule II public entity or a private sector client, by law, you must register a contract of 10 million rands and above on the CIDB Register of Projects. This is for the good of the industry and citizens. We will get to the benefits shortly, but let's first unpack when you must register the contract on the CIDB Register of Projects. Contracts must be registered at the following stages. Number one, when you advertise the tender for construction works. This applies only to public sector clients. Number two, when the construction works contracts is awarded. This applies to both public and private sector clients. And number three, when the contract is completed or terminated. This applies to both public and private sector clients. Now, where must you register these phases of a construction contract on the Register of Projects? The Register of Projects is a web-based system. To access it, go to the CIDB website at www.cidb.org.za. Click on the button Clients, then register as employer to download a registration form. Complete and return the form to the CIDB to get your employer login details. You can get login details for more than one person. And remember to change these details when people change in your organization. How do you register a contract on the Register of Projects? Now, once you've logged into the system, registering the different phases of the project is a seamless process. For public sector clients, it begins with advertising the tender. Once the tender has been evaluated and the contract is awarded, log in again and update the status of the project from tender to contract award. It is as simple as that. Use the same login details to update the status when the project is completed or terminated. For any queries or problems, call the CIDB for support or send an email to ropenquiries at cidb.org.za. Now let's get to the benefits. Why is it that the law requires contracts to be registered on the CIDB Register of Projects? The CIDB Register of Projects is the only central database of construction works contracts nationally. It is the knowledge hub for policymakers, for investors, economists, the public, and those who have oversight on construction budgets and spending. It informs everyone of what's happening in the construction industry nationally. It promotes transparency on infrastructure spending and procurement practices. It makes grading of contractors by the CIDB reliable, transparent, and accurate because the systems are all linked. When information is available about who is getting construction projects, what kind of projects, and the size of the projects, we can all make better decisions to promote transformation. The BUILD program, which funds and supports development of people and businesses in construction, is premised on the Register of Projects. It is the foundation for sound action and decision-making by government and the private sector. It is your duty to register all infrastructure projects on the ROP. It is the responsible thing to do. Thank you for watching. Watch the other videos in this series on construction procurement.